Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jane and this is another episode on Chat Central. But today I have a Zambian beauty in the house. Oh, Tutu, why are you laughing? Why are you shy? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming on my channel. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm alright. Okay. If you're new here, subscribe, mm -hmm. thumbs up the video, watch it to the end, very important. Hit your post notification button so you get notified every time I post a new video. Today I have Tutu with me and we are going to be discussing life in the Philippines and also her small business which you'll find out as we go. Yes. Give us a little backstory about you. About me, my personality, mm -hmm. like you, you know what, what you do, everything. You know what? That's such a weird question. Like when someone asks you, like, <laughs> like who are you? Like describe yourself. And then you're like, wait, who am I? Like, <laughs> yeah, like you don't know what to say. I am from Zambia. I studied for a bit in China. I did uh, marketing, Ooh. business, and then I, I transferred here, and then I started taking psychology, and then um, I'm done with that, and then I went into cosmetic chemistry yeah so I, i'm not yet done with that but yeah i'm getting You're in the there process. yeah okay yeah good to know i know you were in china i don't think i, I don't know think that. anyone knows really for real really? for real yeah how long have you been in the philippines uh it's probably be four years this year why did you choose philippines when you wanted to leave china I actually didn't choose the philippines it mm -hmm. was like a vacation thing it was summer vacation mm -hmm. and Summer vacations in China are different, I think. Everyone goes home, there's no one in China, there's nothing happening, it's so hot. Also, like, I was just going through something mentally depressed. Mm -hmm. I had lost my mom and oh. just a lot of things happening. I just needed to breathe and it was visa free. Oh, very important, yes, it was visa free. So I went to Cebu, actually. Mm -hmm. I was in Cebu for a few days and I hated it so much. I was like, why did you hate Cebu? I just died for the I just hated it at the time, you know, like I was like, what? What is this place God? I'm like, mm -hmm. I was so scared. I didn't know anyone like and the thing is those are the activities they like group activities. Mm -hmm. You can't do anything by yourself. So it's like they yeah. want four. I don't I don't have four friends. Four, a minimum of six. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't have yeah. six friends. So I, I was I couldn't do anything. I was near Park Mall. Is it Park, Park Mall? I yeah. think so. Yeah. And then after and I think so. And then after a few days, I was like, you know what? Bye. So I called my Chinese <laughs> friend to book me a flight on is it travel local or something? Yeah. Then I flew to Manila, and then I hated it more. I was like, God, I should have stayed in Cebu. I wish. I wish I stayed there. I ran into some people I should not have run into. When I came here, also I didn't know anyone, so I joined the dating site to find black people. people. Yes, and I only found guys you know and i found three guys i think and i was trying to like know places find a place to stay because i was still at a, a hotel or something mm -hmm. like yeah and yo man people in this place are mad that's all I can but there things that were happening or you, know, you see people doing and you're like you people do this here yeah you know what like moving from africa yeah. to china to the philippines guys like i think i've seen it <laughs> The first thing that shocked me was the G is it Jeep? Jeepney. Jeepney. Okay, because I had related that to some Mexican drug cartel series and movies I had watched. I started crying. I was like, what am I doing here? Wow. Really that the Jeeps shocked me, number one. Number two, it was the weather. It's always hot here. It's mm -hmm. always hot yeah, all the time. All the time. All the time. The food, the food is so sweet. I was shocked at how many dentists they are like there's a dentist everywhere. everywhere i was like what's going on you know isn't that like a, a seven year course how there's too much sugar in the food i'm so sorry even just their history i had no idea yeah. that their affiliation to mexico spanish and all that stuff yeah. I, I, so all that was really a shock to me was it hard for you adapting initially to like everything that was happening uh, yeah, it was and I just I wanted to leave. I was just like, oh my god. What have I done? Yeah. I was so shocked. I was disappointed. I was everything you just negative. wanted to go <laughs> Yeah, like my life just went upside down in that moment. So so how long do you think it took you to actually fit in 
I say it's taken me like three years if I'm being honest. Just one year you were like, oh, what's going on? I was just like a, a ball moving around. I don't know what's happening, you know. Mm. China is so, um, how can I say? It's so forward when it comes to technology. So mm -hmm. you can do everything on your, on your phone. phone. But when I came here, even the jeeps, if you don't know where you're going, you don't know. No. Like yeah. your map won't save you. That was one thing I also struggled with, like finding <clears throat> the routes with jeepneys. Yeah. So for the first six months of living here you i would say i was just using taxis i don't try you don't even bother, like you don't bother anymore you know in cebu we don't have like tricycles and really? all that yeah we don't only inside the market and i, I barely I even use notice. them it was when i came to my i'm like okay tricycle is actually like like a thing, a thing. A thing. do you have any regrets moving here so far um i had at first but now no i, I think this is probably one of the best decisions i've made you be staying here long term i will be staying here long term definitely at this point if you give me permanent residence i, I if, mean if, <laughs> just if you work you know in that field you know what to home, do please <laughs> I'm sure everyone wants to know your business tricks your business secrets how you got there and how you built your brand you know so you just told us a while ago that you are into cosmetics and you know yeah. beauty products basically so my first question is how did you know you wanted to go into the beauty industry hair specifically i didn't know but i had a problem so i was trying to find a solution for myself but i didn't know how many people had the same problem so I think that's where it came from. It was just trying to find a solution for other people. And then at the time, you know, my mom had died from cancer and there was this whole thing about cosmetics and how they cause cancer. So I went down like a rabbit hole, start digging information, what to avoid, what to stay away from. So I think it was like a curiosity mixed with my desire so to find a solution. Yes, for myself only. And then I just discovered, well, everyone else has the problem. You might yeah. as well share. Yeah. How did Zico Natural come to life? Like, how did you come up with the name Zico Natural? Oh like, my god! That name is so tush! Really? Yeah, because I'm one of those people that believe in like really cute brand names. Yeah. A lot of people just come and say this by this person, this by, I, I mean, hair by, yeah. this, soap by Somebody this. Hair. I'm like, come up with something very unique. Wow, I didn't think of that. Is yeah. this a unique name? It's very, very, very. Actually, I was looking for and then it took me guys like months it's so it's so hard like to people don't realize how coming up with the name is so hard and i would ask people and i would ask my friends i was like just pick anything and i was thinking i was thinking i wanted it to mean something so i went into my language like back home you know mm -hmm. i didn't want an english name and i didn't want to put my name on the brand that's just yeah, yeah. So I went back and I was speak. I was saying words from my language back home, like da, da 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 da. And I was thinking, how can I say the earth in my language? So the direct translation of the earth is Zico in my country. So it was like Earth Naturals in mm -hmm. English, but when you convert that to my local language, it's Zico Good Naturals. Natural. Yeah. So it's just the earth. Wow. Yeah. Zico um, is actually a Zambian name. Yeah, Zico is actually a Zambian word from word, my yeah. language yeah. actually, and it means the earth. Hey, right. it's really really cute. Yeah, wait, if you say that in Niger in your Nigerian language, what would it be? Et. Yes. Allah. Allah natural. See how cute that is? <laughs> wait, 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 you don't get it. No, my Igbo is very, very <laughs> cute. I think Et is actually Allah. Yeah, so it's like Allah natural. See how cute that just blends in, right? I was like, you know what? It's too much English. Just use your local language and mix it with an English word. Yeah. It's so nice. What were your goals with Zico Naturals? Like, aside from solving the problem, how did you plan, you know, that, okay, I want to achieve this in six months, in a year with this brand? Um, I had no plan, guys. guys. I had no strategy. I had no plan. And I was just going with the flow at the time because I didn't... I didn't think it would be something big. I just thought it would be a hobby. And there was a university, but then I stayed in Santa Rosa. So there was mm. a university there and there were like a lot of Africans. And I yeah. thought, okay, I could just sell to them because there was another girl at the time doing it. doing it. And she was selling to those people. And you know, she had this whole page and it was nice. And she did a shoot with even some Nigerian girls. Then she just went off 
like that so and she used to have pop-ups like you know when you go to the mall and there's mm. a little pop-up store things like that i was thinking okay just something like that whatever it's okay and then i watched youtube videos now i was trying to formulate with yeah. youtube okay listen you won't learn shit on youtube i'm so sorry like they won't tell you what's really going on you just see what's happening but you don't really know you need to get a professional to help you understand the Absolutely. basics from chemist a chemistry point of view mm -hmm. it's not just mixing things right so i had I watched. Uh, I've watched all everything there is to watch. I have watched it. <laughs> more of DIY. Yeah, no. it was more like DIY. I went to Pinterest, girl. Like you name it, I was there. Until one time, I stumbled upon this ad of this lady from Zimbabwe in the U.S. Right, and she was offering courses. Right, and I was like, what? And the first course was like fifty dollars. I was like, no problem. You still need to invest. You, have to invest. you still need to invest. That's the thing. So I, I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a strategy. But as I started working with the coach, she started helping me make a strategy and mm -hmm. one thing after the other. And now it's even more than what I ever even thought it would be. It's it's more of the other way. Like, how can I just do this quick, quick? Exactly. People miss this. You know, if you are in religion, your your religion, for example, is Christianity. We are told to look up to Jesus. He yeah. was like this. He lived like that. He lived like that. It's the same thing even in business. You need a coach. You need mm -hmm. someone who's where you want to go. Really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess that that helps you create your strategy. Yeah. I'm sure that as a business person or should I say entrepreneur, you probably have ch faced some challenges, some struggles, especially when you're doing something that is not exactly for filipinos how have you broken and you you know how did you cross that bridge how did you bring everybody together because right now the people buying from you are filipinos nigerians people from around the world really so really? how did you do it I have no idea okay <laughs> but I can say a few things that I did to help me achieve my goal I had challenges but I've learned this you know the cha the challenges never go yeah the problems don't go you just find better ways to solve them or yeah. to fix them exactly so I think uh, as I as you become more familiar with the problems you become more good at solving the problems mm -hmm. doing your market research is so important okay I did mm -hmm. my market research but at the time I had no idea of how big the market was yeah I didn't think Filipinos would want to buy I didn't buy. even think you know I didn't think that at the time I didn't even make the first move yeah someone came in contact with me because apparently she was watching me for a while mm -hmm. and she reached out to me and she's the owner of the curly hair salon mm -hmm. cuts and curls by jazz she reached out to me so she was also she's in the same industry yeah. but um, I had no idea that this product would work on Filipinos. yes and then um, she already had the Filipino audience right okay. so it's like once you meet one person you meet the next person you meet the mm -hmm. next person and someone likes you and refers you and yeah. another, and people would go to her salon and she would refer them to me especially if they had like more thick hair yeah, yeah and one thing would lead to the other guy before you knew it it was like boom 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 boom, boom. Yeah, yeah that's it if there is one thing everybody knows about Zico Naturals it has to be the structured customer service oh yeah it's one of like if you see people influencers or youtubers reviewing your product first thing they talk about is the customer service oh, really? i first hand have experienced Hi. great customer <laughs> service and i want to know because i'm also an entrepreneur my customer service is not in any way close to you because oh, really? you're like okay how is your hair like what the um which product do you want okay i think this will work for you i yeah. pair this with this like how have you come up with such such structured customer service um i think for me i wanted to create connections with people more than just the business like mm -hmm. i wanted to create a relationship let's say that and yeah. so also i discovered that there's a lot of miscommunication in the industry people would message me and say hi do you have a hair grower there's no such thing <laughs> as a hair, hair grower. grower your hair is always growing but marketing terms have convinced people that this makes you there's nothing makes mm -hmm. your hair grow your hair is always growing okay so i would find out that 
everybody like it's like skin your skin everyone has different skin and different problems and so I had a desire to make a relationship to make a mm -hmm. connection but to help you fix your problem because everyone's problem is different. different exactly so I need to know and then when just the way you approach me also it triggers a question in yeah. me to want to know so I think it was a combination of all those things and I think I've just learned a lot of hospitality from here like Filipinos are really so hospitable yeah exactly so I think I just mix those things together and boom and then also disconnect Mm -hmm. Disconnect from your business because some people will piss you off. I'm if telling they know you, you're the one behind it. Yeah, like some people are just rude. The moment they pay, so when am I? When are you shipping my? Like, can I have? Like, well, don't ship out when you want. Like, they're so rude, yeah. and you really. So how have do you to, handle? You need to customers. disconnect yourself from the people and the business because if you stay too attached to it you take everything personal so i have to explain that you know what when you're booking is set it's not me who decides the pickup time it's the driver he can come at any time they're mm -hmm. so rude so yeah. Rude. yeah so just also disconnect okay so uh yeah. thank you for that you just recently um put out or should i say announced your 2022 brand influencers yeah why did you decide to branch into influencing marketing in 2022 um because you need a team to do anything good like you need a team i don't care go ask bill gates go ask oprah sure. everyone has a team i know you see one person in front but you don't know what's Not going on behind. exactly yeah. a lot is going on behind the scenes so you need a team and um, you need to work together. We're we're social beings yeah. anyway. Yeah. So just work together. You can do some things by yourself, mm -hmm. but you need a team behind you that gets everything done. And also just to have a win-win situation for everyone. And you never know in the future. You know, you could have more business relationships with people. Yeah. Also, yeah, sure. As a black business owner here in the Philippines, what is something you wish you did differently so far? um i wish i had done more market research that's the truth i wish i had invested more in myself i wish i spent more money you know when i started zico naturals i used my school fees i was looking at my school fees like girl school or your dream i mean they're both my dream but like i mean the thing with school is that you can delay on your payments they're not yeah. really yeah you know at the time so i was thinking okay if i do this and this i can put some money put some money and then i spent my school fees money and it was like if i die I die. <laughs> you actually told me this story. Before. If I die, I die. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't die. <laughs> yeah. Like you are willing to take the risk. Are there any tips for people who want to go into, you know, your industry, you know, that you could give out? Um, advice, whatever. Okay, so number one advice, be willing to do the work, the market research, get to know the industry, get to know the laws of the country, um, get to know your competition is very important also, yeah. I, I know my competition of course, and then get to know your audience, how do they behave, what's their age group, how do they buy, what yeah. do they, how do they want to see things. Sometimes I see cooking pages, like food pages. And the food just doesn't look appetizing. I'm so sorry. You know, maybe yeah. it may taste nice, but it just doesn't look nice. So you need to know how your audience buys and how they want to look at things. That's yeah. how I branded it. And also, products. sometimes I feel like for business owners, put yourself as the customer. Sometimes. Thank you. So so important. Like put yourself from the viewer's side. Exactly. If I was buying cosmetics, I want. You know how girls want the things to be bright, to right. look nice. So I was going around, it's business psychology, do business psychology, they would, yeah, things like that. I know what time people like shopping. I know mm -hmm. after 10 p.m., people will be buying things on my website. I wake up, I find people, they, yeah, yeah exactly. So I know how everyone behaves, by the way. I know who doesn't want to shop on the website and who wants to shop in the DM. I know my customer's psychology, let's say that. Okay. This is the point where you have to go shop from Zico Naturals it's gonna be on the screen link in the description amazing amazing products from leave-in conditioners to shampoos to hair oil you guys I use Zico Naturals no capping and it is the best thank so you. far I love it thank you yeah and also 
um we will be bringing in new products get ready watch out be, for that yeah watch out for that there'll be gels there'll be me turn on your post moves. notification on their page That's i the only hear you guys we got you so we yeah be ready <laughs> okay i'm stuff. excited yes we have to let you two go thank you so much for coming on the channel thank, thank you for you. dropping all these nuggets nice for us you. thank you so much for watching this video make sure to thumbs up stay tuned for more videos on chat central and of course i'm a lifestyle vlogger you want to see all other videos about me and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys bye